Hi, my name is Tess. I'm from Exeter in England, and I'm currently doing a computer master's with placement at Cardiff University. Being a student at Cardiff University means there's always something going on, either a society event or just something happening in the city of Cardiff itself. It's always also a really walkable city, so you can save money on Uber and get to know people better. And there's always of green open spaces if you want to relax or just be in nature for a bit. Being part of the Commsize School means that all of your classes and your library is in the same place in Queen's Building, which is located right by the city centre. So you can go shopping between classes, grab a snack. There's also a microwave and a hot water tap in the building, which is great, as you can imagine. Um, also, just loads of different subjects and things to learn we have tons of computer labs and like some sort of really fast processing computer if you need that so lots of resources available and when you are allowed on campus it's basically 24 7 as long as you have a card so you can stay there and study whenever it suits you So my degree, it's a computing conversion master's. They teach us the foundation and a bit more advanced stuff on a wide range of languages and skills over the course of the year. So I've done some Python. Um, we did a train arrival simulator with that. We did some Java where we created a weather station with data and graphs. I've also done HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create some fake university websites and library sites. I uh, did data visualization. So with that, I use JavaScript, but you can also use Python or D3 to create data, data visualization. So bar charts, or you can make something a bit more artistic or interesting. And also we did some software engineering, where basically you learn how to work in a team in a software engineering environment. Uh, some of the most memorable things uh, being part of the School of Computer Science were the employability events. So you have normal careers days like most universities do. And then they also put on some more specialised events like the speed dating when the employer pitched themselves to us for a minute. And then we went around in groups and did the same to them. And then if you matched, uh, you got an interview. And that was really helpful. And also... Um, I really like the TA drop-in sessions. Uh, so if you go throughout the year, you first off get a lot of help with code and someone to just talk you through it if you don't understand. But also it's a nice little group of people that continue to go and you become friends and a bit of a support system. So that was really good. So as a computer science student, what normally happens is in the morning you have a lecturing lab and in the afternoon a lecturing lab. Sometimes you have both, sometimes you have one, sometimes you have neither. So if you're there for the whole day, you wake up, you get your coffee, you go in, you might be able to eat something on the way. And then in the lunchtime, you go and have a snack, some food, and then you get right back into it. And then if it's a day like that, normally you kind of have a break in, in the evening because you've done enough work. But if you have one or no class that day then you've just got to maybe go into the library or study on your room for quite a few hours just make sure you attempt at least to keep up with the work and then in the evening either you just relax or maybe you go to the society or you go out to an event if we are still all isolated maybe it'll be like a zoom call or something like that I know a lot of societies are still working to keep the events going throughout the year, even if we're all separated. And speaking of that, uh, being a computer science student means that you can actually really learn basically everything you need remotely. It's not ideal, but it's very workable and I've been able to do it. My advice to someone who's thinking about applying is if you're interested and you think you have the drive and the commitment to just sit down and learn this stuff, do it. Before I came here, I knew basically nothing. I taught myself a little bit online beforehand and now I've done a year and I've learned so much. It will be hard, but it's definitely worth the effort. And for people who are thinking of, who have applied 
and got their place and are going to arrive soon. Just learn everything you can. Just everything. I thought I knew what was going on when I arrived. I did not. So as you probably know, there's so many online resources for coding. So you can pay for a Udemy course, something like that. Wait for the sales. They're great. All there is YouTube, W3, Stack Overflow, Geeks for Geeks. Just Google the question. Probably someone will have found the answer. If you can teach yourself at least the basics of the language or the course or anything like that before you get here, you'll just be able to go in and learn it and not be frustrated and confused with the basics. So yeah, general advice, but learn as much as you can if you've got the time. So when I've been at university, I've also been working as a STEM ambassador. So STEM ambassadors are basically students who teach computational skills, so mainly coding and stuff like that, to children or teachers or really anyone who wants to learn. I've done it, so I've gone into schools and taught like classes. Some STEM ambassadors go in every single week and continue to build up the knowledge. There's also one-off days where... It's normally a bit more of like a fun event to get the kids interested in computer science. I think it's a really good program. Uh, well, I mean, if you're learning something, the best way to properly know you know it is to try and teach it and explain it to a group of teenagers. And also you get paid to do it. So win-win. If you have the opportunity, I would definitely say apply.